Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing this evil firecracker drill deck. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And this deck is like one of the best decks in the game right now because evil firecracker and nato combo is like actually undefendable. Firecracker just does not die. And the defense is also really good. Point of this deck is you kind of overcommit on offense and then you get away with like cheap defense because you've got the mighty miner bomb tower log nato type of stuff. So oftentimes I'm just going to be kind of like overcommitting and kind of getting away with like a lot of cheap defense, I guess. Alright, this guy's playing a bridge spam deck. I thought it was Pekka, but then he played a heal spirit, so it is going to be bridge spam. I'm going to Mighty in the back here. Alright, he's probably going to Marcher this, so I'm going to kind of get ready for that. I'm going to Nato that in, if he does go Marcher. I'm going to Ice Spirit, and then, y'all yeah, I'll just Nato that in. Oh, I tapped on the screen, it didn't work, so I'm going to kind of like drag my Nato. That should have went down like a lot sooner, but instead it did not go down, so the bandit kind of dashed into my Mighty Miner. I don't know what happened, but I guess it just didn't click on the screen. I'm going to Firecracker, then I'm going to pop my ability here on the Mighty Miner. Okay, good chip on the tower, like a bit of damage on the tower, but I'm going to drill on the left here because I think the Firecracker is going to go to the left side after killing that one barb and then might get a lot of value with the Ghost. Kind of hoping that it splashes on the tower for one shot. Skelly's here, maybe he might go Bandit. Okay, that was kind of a bad Skelly's on second thought. Thought he was going to go Bandit, so I kind of played my Skelly's there, but all good. Gonna Ice Spirit to Kite and then I'll go like Mighty Miner down low because I know the Mighty Miner is gonna like kill the Bandit and the Ghost. By the way, had I not played the Mighty Miner in the middle for that Ghost, I think it would have gotten like two hits on that right side tower, so kind of had to play that. I'm gonna Firecrack at the back here to cycle. I'll try to get the bomb on the Marcher and then knock it off his lane so I can log the Ram and the Marcher. No, it walked away. I have the bomb tower now. So annoying. I was kind of hoping to like get away with like a log on defense and just go like Skellies on the Ram, but. Marcher kind of like split away, so had to bomb tower high to take care of both. I'm gonna go Skelly's here. Okay, so right now he's kind of flowing elixir. Doesn't really have like the best cycle to defend this. I'm gonna firecracker and then I'm gonna kind of keep my nato ready. I know he's gonna bandit. Okay, look at that damage. Man, that card is not balanced at all. Look at all that damage. And it killed the ghost and the bandit. Got so much value. And it's also gonna bait out the ability, because if not, I would have gotten one more shot on the tower. Wow, that's a lot of damage on the tower. I'll take that. I'm going to Ice Spirit on the Queen here to not take any 1 HP hits, and then I'll go for a Bomb Tower on the Ram. He might go Marcher. Yeah, had a feeling he would just go Marcher to snipe that out, but not that he can really do much with it, though. Only thing he can do with that Marcher is snipe out my Bomb Tower, so I'm going to Drill, then I'm going to Ice Spirit on the Marcher. I'm going to Skelly's High here to make sure it doesn't take any, um, or it doesn't do any damage on my Tower. Good Firecracker, though. That's going to get, like, a decent bit on the Tower. I'm going to Nato this. I'm going to pop my ability. Oh, he missed a Kite. Okay, he actually missed the kite on the Mighty Munner, so I got some damage on the tower, and then I also was able to pop the ability. That was like the fattest log I've gotten in a minute. I'll take that. I hit the ram, hit the barbs, hit the heal spirit. I'm going to nade this back because I know that he's going to pop the ability. Yeah, too obvious. All right, this game's over. I kind of feel bad because then he can't really do anything. Can't even like kill my evil cracker because he only has arrows in the deck. No monk or anything, so definitely not going to be able to do anything. Okay, I'm going to Cracker, and then I'll go Nato here, and that should be game, because, I mean, he can't take that out. Decent Nato, but, like, or Arrows, but, like, yeah, not going to do much. Just going to Drill again. I'll let the Ghost go for now, because, I mean, I don't really care about the one shot. Then I'll pop my ability here. Should go off. Okay, it didn't go off, but that should take it out, though. I'll just Nato to finish off things. All right, I'll take the win. Super easy matchup, because my deck is so busted. I'm just going to hop right in and see you when I find a Alright, I'm in a game facing Adam. See what deck he's playing. I'll just go drill first player because, I mean, my hand is kind of awkward right now. kind of have to go in. Oh! Wait, this might be a mirror matchup. Yeah, this is going to be a mirror matchup. Kind of funny that we played the drill at the same spot at the same time, too. But anyways, I'm going to Firecracker. So it's always better to defend the drill with Log first and then go for, like, a 1 Elixir card on it. Because, as you guys saw, he played a Mighty Miner and I got some damage with it. But I played a Log first, then I played Ice Spirit. Letting him no chances to get any firecracker chip on my tower, so. I'm gonna drill again. I know I'm down like four elixir right now, but he doesn't really have the best cycle to defend that, so I might be able to get some damage here. Maybe like one or two hits. Alright, two hits. That's a lot of damage. Not gonna lie, like goblins are kinda underrated right now, but I'll just go bomb tower here to activate my king and defend the drill. This is like a perfect defense right here. Nice. Only took one goblin shot and I activated king, so. Game's gonna be like a lot easier now. I'm gonna Ice Spirit. Oh, good predict. I'll give it to him. That was a really good predict. He could have potentially gotten a shot with the Firecracker, but right now his only option is like skeletons on the drill. So I'm gonna Firecracker. Oh, well, that's a lot of damage. Wow, okay. Thing is, he keeps timing his Firecracker really well. So like it's one tapping all my goblins from that drill, but 
I should be okay though. I kind of want to bomb tower, but I'm going to mighty up high and then I'm going to go ice spirit on the firecracker. So if he goes NATO, I can log it out, but I don't think he's going to NATO though. All right, that was beautiful because my mighty miner stayed alive with like one HP and distracted the one shot from that firecracker. So I didn't have to eat that damage. I'll take that though. Anyways, um, he's still up elixir by a little bit, so he might go in. So I'm going to defend his drill and then I'm going to go for my drill. All right, looks like he's not up by a lot though. Only two elixirs, so not too bad. I'm going to log here. Oh, I kind of played that late. Ah, took one goblin hit. Should not matter though. Uh, back to my broken fire. Wait, that was actually a really good firecracker, but hear me out. What if I cracker his cracker and get two shots on his cracker by getting a lot of damage on the tower? Oh, the second shot didn't hit though. I'm going to nato here to predict to ice spirit. Oh, wait, that didn't really work, but I might get one shot. Oh, that was perfect. Okay, I'll take that. That's not what I really expected, to be honest. Like, it played out different in my head, but I'll definitely take the damage. I thought the Firecracker was gonna, like, die because of the Ice Spirit, because I didn't time my Nato well, but that actually Natoed, like, the Ice Spirit close to the tower, and my Firecracker knocked itself back, and then I was able to get one more shot on the tower. And I was still, like, lucky, but at the same time, not early, because I did play a Nato, so... I'll take that. I'm gonna eat one Goblin shot, then I'll log here. Oh, my Goblins? Oh! Yeah, that's so much damage. I'll take that. Oh, okay. Nice. He gave up. All right. I'll take the win. Um, Kind of nice to beat the mirror matchup with a deck that I've never played before. But not really a thing that you can be proud of because this deck is actually like so busted. You just have to spam like Drill of Firecracker and you just win the game. So I'll take the win. I'm just going to go for another game. I'll see when I find a game. But this game should put me at like, I don't know, top 80-ish. Yeah, 86. Not bad. Alright, I'm facing log bait right now, so this guy's not gonna have a good time at all. I've got such a good matchup right now, so I'll go Skelly's in the middle, then I'll play a Mighty in the back. Just don't want to take any like princess damage right off the bat. I believe this tornado placement counters the whole god barrel without taking any damage. And you also activate the king tower, so I'll take that for sure. Um I'm just gonna kinda let that slide and go firecracker on the mighty miner to get damage. Yeah, I'll just do this. That way he has to pop the ability on the mighty miner. Okay, wait, I'm gonna pop my ability on it. I'm gonna Ice Spirit here. Kind of a bad ability on second thought. I'm gonna log here. Oh, wait, that log was so bad. I'm gonna drill. Okay, he wasn't able to pop the ability. That's good. Oh, the bomb tower was so bad. What was that bomb tower? I literally have a firecracker on the field right now. <laughs> nice. That's so much damage. That's one more hit on the tower. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't know what the bomb tower was supposed to be. I don't know why he played it like right in front of the tower, but I'll take that. I'm going to nato log this quickly. Oh, is that going to make it? Oh, no. Kind of a bad log. I guess I just didn't like nato far enough. If I nato that far enough, I would have been able to log on time. So that was kind of my fault. But should not matter, though. I'm playing a really broken deck, and I counter his deck right now. Because he has a wall breaker, so I doubt that he would ever rock it in the deck. So I'm just going to kind of like win the game off of like firecrackers and stuff. Skelly's in the middle. going to drill here. I'm going to firecracker with this, too. I think his only option right now is goblins on it or like a bomb tower on it. Ice Spirit. Oh, that's damage, though. Ooh. Uh, hit, hit, hit. No, the Firecracker died. If that got a hit, I think I would have gotten, like, a lot more damage. But I'm just going to Bomb Tower the middle to defend this. And then I'll go for an Ice Spirit to kind of defend this, too. Because I want to keep my Bomb Tower alive for as long as I can. Okay, well, now I kind of have to let it die. Activate King. Oh, <laughs> okay. That was far from activation. We don't talk about that. But I'll just go for a Log here. And then I'll, like, NATO his stuff away. Uh, yeah, I'll just NATO anything away. Oh, got the Ice Spirit. Two hits. Prediction NATO is really good because oftentimes you can't react to it. You just have to kind of eat the damage. Or you have to predict the NATO, like counter predict it, I guess. I don't know. But I'll just go for uh, Evolve Firecracker in the back, like kind of below my bomb tower, I guess. He can't really take that out. And I also know that his next Firecracker is going to be Evolve, so I'm going to have to kind of watch out. I'm going to log NATO. Oh, look at that value. All the goblins on the tower. Wow, I got like 2k damage on the tower right now. Well, not really 2k, but it was like 1200 just because of one firecracker shot and like a few goblin hits. I'm going to firecracker again. Yeah, I don't know. This guy's bomb tower placements. Like, I'm kind of like questioning them. Because, I mean, that's not a good play at all. My firecracker just kind of shreds it. Okay, well, I got a firecracker hit on top of that. So, he's probably going to go all in right now. I'm going to defend the barrel and all that stuff. Oh, he played it on one spot. So, the barrel just got one tapped. Oh, NATO at back. Don't get a hit. Log. Okay, nice. All right, that's game. Yeah, I took out the um broken firecracker, so I don't really have anything I need to worry about right now. Gonna bomb tower, gonna ice spirit, gonna skeletons on the side. 
All right, now we wait. We wait for the elixir to come back, and then I'll go drill NATO, and then that should be game. So I'll take the win. Super easy matchup, to be honest. Not really much you could do in this. Um, but yeah, I'll just NATO the goblins away now. And that is going to be GG. All right, I'll just hop right in. I'll play like a few more. Probably like two more. All right, I'm in a game. Oh, this is that one like really bad splasher player, I think. Yeah, this should be free because I've got matchup by a little. And this guy's also not really the best with this deck. So I'm going to go for a firecracker in the middle to kind of chip out the skeletons. All right, what the hell was eyes was? <laughs> he could have just cycled it in the back. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to question it. I'm going to skeletons on the ice wizard, and then I'll go for a goblin drill on the left. I don't want a mighty in the back because I kind of need it for the skelly king, so I'm not going to do that. Also, not going to nato that away because if I do, he might just go in and get a lot of damage here, so I'll kind of just watch out. Oh, I'm going to mighty on the right block it. What? Dude, just because he popped that ability, he was not able to go in. That's actually kind of funny. He just like bodged himself. He could have gone in there to get a lot of damage there because I would have had to pop my ability anyways to push the baby dragon back and like get the skellies out of the field. But instead he popped the ability, making it easier for me to log and then he just kind of went in. I think he has barbarians right now. So I'm going to firecracker. Ooh, one shot on the tower. I'll take that. Then I'm going to log here. Okay, one more shot. Oh, the skelly took it out. Nice. Wait, I'm going to mighty miner. Because then I bait out like a skelly king with this. Yeah, wait, I have an idea. Because I'll be back to my evolve cracker soon. So why don't I just go like ice spear and drill after he skelly kings on this. That should die. And then he's going to have to like barbarians on the drill. Or nato the goblin into the king. And then try to go for like an ice was on it. But I'll get a lot of damage anyways. Okay, good damage there. I'll just go for... I'll wait to see if he's going to barbs. Okay, well, I'll still take the damage out. I'm going to go for... uh cracker on the side that's gonna be like two hits on the tower two sparkles on the tower whatever okay I actually only hit one but that's a lot of damage i'll take that for sure and then i'll go for i kind of want a tornado but then you could just go for like a tombstone yeah let's go for the tombstone not too bad all right i'm gonna mighty in the back here he might just go in right now but i'm gonna go goblin drill before he get what <laughs> okay i don't know what the hell that was Dude, I can't even talk right now because I'm laughing so much. Yikes. Why didn't he just go graveyard? I feel like that would have been a lot better. He just went like Skelly King Barbarians into my bomb tower. And uh, keep in mind, those are like the broken Barbarians. So now he doesn't have them in cycle for like a good minute again. Man, this guy's really something else. I don't know what to say. Just going to drill here. Just going to go for a firecracker. <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> he did it again nice i'm gonna log here then i'm gonna mighty miner okay i'll just go like ice spear i'll let the bomb tower die and then i'll go ice spear on the baby d to kind of pull it into the bomb nice he gave up all right i'm glad he gave up because he would have made a fool out of himself trying to defend that again <laughs> i'll take the win i don't think i've ever had like such a good laugh from a clash royale gameplay before but yeah i'm just gonna hop right in all right i'm in a game see what deck he's playing I'm just gonna go for my log on the skellies. All right, bro, slow down, bro. The game just started. He's already spamming like all this stuff on my tower. The game actually just started. Anyways, uh, took some damage, but I got the king activation, and his deck kind of looks weak against the firecracker, so should be able to win. I mean, I don't think he has an arrows or like a fireball in the deck. He should have a log though. It's a log bit deck, so probably gonna have a log in it. But I'm gonna firecracker. That's a lot of elixir. I could probably just mighty miner on the right and take out the whole tower, but then I wouldn't be able to like defend the right side. So I kind of have to defend this. Yeah, I'm gonna bomb tower. I'm glad I didn't do that actually, because he would have taken out my tower with the wall breakers by making the mighty miner push and like just getting the mighty on my tower. Like, yeah, sure. I would have gotten the mighty on his tower, but then he would also get the mighty on my tower. So had to kind of defend. Um, I think he's back to barrel. So I'm gonna have to kind of watch out. All right, bro, what is that placement? He played it on the side. I feel like if he played it on the center, he would have gotten like a lot more damage, but played it all the way on the side. Okay, I'm going to go for a drill. Uh, do I want to? Uh, yeah, I'll go for drill, whatever. I was going to nato the skellies, to be honest, to get damage, but pop ability, go off. No, no, if that went off, that would have been so much damage, but I got one firecracker shot on the tower, though. And I also take out the mighty miner right now. That's good. That's like really good. 
I'm back to log right now, so I'll log the god barrel, and then he might go wall breaker. So I'm gonna ice spirit. By the way, if you have your king up, you can actually full counter that um, wall breakers with just the ice spirit because the king dar helps out. I'm gonna drill. I know that he has like two elixir right now, so I'm gonna nato this skellies away, and uh, he's gonna have to delivery right now. I think because he has enough. Yeah, let's go for the delivery. But I got like seven, eight hundred damage before that. I'll take that. Okay, really bad barrel. That's in the front. I'm gonna go for skellies here. Uh. All right, one of them actually got one shot because the delivery hit one of my skeletons, but I'm gonna Marty Miner. He can't kill my firecracker, by the way. I have to keep protecting this. I'm gonna Tornado. Oh, damage. Wait, knock itself back? Yeah, don't pop the ability like a dumbass. I'm gonna wait, Dark Rock Predict. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go for a uh, Gob Drill again. Don't, don't pop the ability, please don't. Nice. This guy's a dumbass. He could have just popped the ability. <laughs> okay. Uh... Those are evil skeletons. For some reason, I thought that was evil barbs and I was going to go crazy because I didn't see him play the first one. So I'm going to bomb tower here because I think he's going to wall breaker. Should be like one off wall breakers right now. Actually kind of a bad bomb tower, but should be okay though. I'm going to log here, going to mighty miner to tank and then I'll go like gob drill and then firecracker nato. I'll just go firecracker actually. I'll just do this and then I'll go like tornado right about nah i can't because then he goes for like a delivery yeah that was good i'm gonna have to nato the dark goblin though because that's gonna take on my bomb tower if i don't and then i'll log here so he can't go like wall breakers behind this that's a dead mighty miner i'll take that all right so he's just dead right now i'm gonna goblin drill that i got cannon core at the back i beg your pardon you have no elixir i'm gonna nato the skellies i didn't even have to the firecracker locked on but yeah, I don't know what the cannon cart in the back was supposed to be. I'll take the window. I'm going to play one more. I'll see you when I find a game. Kind of getting tired right now. All right, on to my last game. Ooh, this might be tough. I know that this guy plays like a RG arrows type of deck. But yeah, I don't know what he's going to defend this with. I thought he was going to hunt it, but he just goes RG on top of it. Not too bad, I guess, because then he does bait out the Mighty Miner, and then the Evolve RG probably going to get a lot of damage on my tower. But I think I'm okay for now. They're going to Skeletons here, and then he can't even like Ghost right away on my firecracker because i know the ghost is going to die to it so not too bad i could have popped the ability potentially to get damage but i didn't want to okay wait i'm gonna drill uh if that makes it right yeah that's actually gonna make oh good e is but i'm gonna firecracker to snipe that out and then that's gonna be some more damage right here i think you might have to arrows yeah let's go for the arrows on the cracker but i'm gonna log here that's a lot of damage just from one drill because i caught him in like a really awkward cycle but now I'm down elixir and my cycle is not the best. I might have to like pre-bomb tower to defend stuff. But yeah, I don't know why he has a fisherman and the EU is done. That's going to be a lot harder for me to defend because Mighty Miner does not get any value at all. Anyways, I'm going to Mighty the back. Kind of want to bomb tower the middle, but then he would just die by the time the RG got to my side. I kind of have to like rely on my bomb tower to kill that because I know I'm going to have to pop the ability on the Mighty Miner. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to do much here. Uh, just gonna pop it right about now since he played the fisherman then I'm gonna go for the ice period He still has to defend my mighty miner. Okay, it does go for the skeleton. So it's completely defended now uh, Tornado maybe full defend question mark gonna ice spirit. Oh nice. Okay. I was about to shoot But it actually didn't shoot. I'll take that good defense But he did get the fireball on my broken firecracker. So I'm gonna have to play two more to get back to it um, I'm kind of scared for like the next push because I know that he's gonna RG in the back because that is a normal RG and then He's probably gonna go for like an evolved RG on the left lane and then I'm not gonna be able to defend at all But I'll just go log here. Okay, so how do I do this? I'm gonna bomb tower and then I'll try to go back to a second bomb tower Do I have the mighty miner? So I think I'll be okay. I'm gonna skellies on the ghost here to not let the um, ghost hit my bomb tower. Then I'll go firecracker on the side. I'll go ice spear. He might fireball. Oh, he has arrows. I forget that he has arrows and a fireball. Yeah, this matchup can't be good. He has both. I'm gonna mighty mutter. Then I'm gonna go for skeletons here. I'm gonna go for ice spirit. Okay, I'm cooked. Yeah, look at all that stuff on the tower. If I still win this game, I don't even know what to say. But yeah, I have no hope anymore because that RG is going to take out like my whole tower. Come on, stop, bro. That's enough. Okay. Yeah, I also have to bomb tower because I don't want to play my broken firecracker on the fisherman. And I don't want to take any tower damage right now, so. Oh, he failed the activation though, but it doesn't really matter though. I know I lost the game, but I can definitely like broken firecracker and then nato that away. Or nato it in. Oh, bad RG. Wait, he's going to fireball, but that's one shot. Oh, he missed the fireball. Nice, I'll take the win. All right, I did not deserve to win that, but hope you guys enjoyed the video and 
Yeah, I love you guys. Bye. Once again, make sure to like and subscribe.